Yesterday, I made a video about the new league SBCs in FIFA 21. Now, with the addition of those, you can make some spicy, spicy coins. From yesterday's video as well, I've actually, I've built somewhat of a team. This is how it's looking at the minute. Boys, let me know down in the comment section what you're rating this team out of 10. Also, look at this as well. Managed to get a Keen, who is currently going on the market at 250,000 coins. Not bad, not bad. Bam! 188,000 coins. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> boy. If you've not seen these new league SBCs, by the way, they are ridiculous. They're so, so good for grinding out packs over this Festival of Football promo event. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you the absolute best way to make coins right now in FIFA 21. If you enjoyed this video, a like and a subscription will be sick because I am going to be doing another 24-hour challenge either this week or next week. <laughs> ha. <laughs> in addition to that as well boys, if you do want to go and buy yourself any FIFA coins for this promo event, make sure to click the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. Use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout to get yourself a discount off your coins. They have been the coin sponsor for a very, very long time boys. They are completely reliable. Just, just go and check them out. Either way though, let's get into this video. So this method that I'm gonna be showing you in this video is pretty complicated, but don't worry. Make sure to watch till the end of this video. I'll be telling you everything that you need to know because there's a lot of things that you need to just keep in mind with this method. It's not as straightforward as you think. We're basically gonna be trading with silvers. Now, loads of people have said to me in the past, Lewis, I don't like trading with silvers. It's boring, it's long, and I hear. I completely hear you. However, with the addition of these new SBCs, there are actually some filters on this game right now which can make you a hell of a lot of coins. Now, in the past, what I've recommended people to do is go over to Silver, go over to the chem style being basic, go over to the league being like the Premier League or a top five league, and go and just do some sniping around this and just see what you can see and just pick it up at whatever price, sell on, make some coins. Now, you can still do this, that's still a viable way, but in my opinion, I don't think it's the best way to make coins anymore. Two words. Entrepreneurship. So as I said before, these new league SBCs are ridiculous for grinding packs and the good thing about me saying that is, is that loads of other people have got the same idea set with that. So let me just introduce you to these league SBCs if you've not seen. So we've got Asia and we've got Europe. Basically, new league SBCs, you go through and complete them, you get packs for doing it, similar to any other league SBC. So if you take a look at the individual packs, there's some decent ones, there's some not so decent ones, but overall, people are grinding these out because it's around the Euros promo event and the Copper America. So people aren't really looking anymore at the old league SBCs. So what's actually happened with a lot of these player prices from both of these sets is that they've gone up in price. Now, we can actually do some trading around those cards and make loads and loads and loads and loads of coins from it. It's mad. It's free real estate. So firstly, I'll show you a way that you can make coins with this method, and then if you stick around, I'll show you all of the filters which are generating me genuinely tens of thousands of coins. It is stupid at the minute. So, first method, what you want to go and do is go over to silver, go over to the max price and set it to 1,000 coins. I mean, by now, can be 1,500 coins. And then, you want to set the chemistry style to basic. The reason why you set it to basic is because it filters out all the goalkeepers, and typically the goalkeepers don't go for too much. There's probably like three, four teams where the goalkeepers go for something, but overall, outfield players are better. And then what you want to do is just search up on the market. Now, what you're looking for from this now, instead of just going for teams who are featured in league SBCs, you can go for teams who are featured in the Europe and Asia league SBCs rather than just the team. So before it was, if you see a Bayern player, you bid on it because they're part of the league SBC for the Bundesliga SBC, whereas now, if the German, like this guy, he might be featured as part of the Europe SBC. So what you wanna do is just add them to your transfer targets, and then if there's a deal on them, you try and pick them up. So for example, let's just go over to this guy right here, who's from South Korea. Now South Korea, as far as I'm aware, do go for a little sutting sutting. At the minute on the mark, he's currently going for around 1.8K. Now, the reason why we add him to the transfer targets is because the market can be very, very glitchy, so you don't wanna lose this card. Now, when you're trying to bid on these cards using this method, try and go for a couple hundred coins lower. Sometimes you'll get outbid, sometimes you won't, but it's it, it's one of them really that's trading, do you know what I mean? So what you need to do is try and win these cards on open bid as much as you can do using that general filter. And then once you've built up some coins using the general filter, then you can then move into the individual filters. So what I'll do, I'll go and try and win a few deals and I'll just come back once I've got something and show you where I'm up to. So I've just managed to go and get myself loads of different deals using that premise of if they're featured in any of those Europe and Asia sets, they should go for 
for something and if they've already got a bid on them I drop a bid on them so I've managed to get myself seven different cards and I'll run through everything that I've managed to get so I've just managed to get myself an ex Wigan Athletic player Kimbo Young who apparently is I don't even know where that team is Korea all right sick either way though he's going for like 2,000 coins and I've just picked him up at 1,000 coins so I can sell him on it say 1.8k make some coins there when you're listing your silvers up sometimes you can overlist you can get quite lucky with it but try and not be too greedy just picked up this guy though at 350 coins he's going for like 1,200 I'll sell him at a thousand got a Moise Keen at 350 his next one up is 650 but after that one it's pretty high so I'm going to pick up both of them and that's something that you can do if you're checking the price of a player and there's one at a massive undercut pick it up and you'll be able to sell it on trust me so I'll list up that one at 1.4k wait for that to sell and then sell the other one I've got a Lucas Toro at 350 coins going for like 850 I can sell mine on at 700 coins and you can see already how you can start to farm up a lot of coins by using these methods now sometimes you'll get a bit unlucky like with that Anton where he doesn't really go for anything but trust me it doesn't matter because if you overlist and keep relisting 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 eventually they will sell on if they don't just bring the price down ever so slightly I just don't get hung up too much on one deal if one card doesn't sell on go and buy more and try and sell them on to make up for the loss that you've made with that one so immediately I come over to the transfer market and one card has already sold on so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get into the next part of this video and <laughs> you'll make so many coins by doing this trust me still fast as fuck boy come get some <laughs> So this next method is going to be a sniping method. Now, I would always recommend to do this when we get pack supply for silver. So listen, listen, listen. If we don't have any supply from silvers, this method will be harder. However, if we do have some supply of silvers, so think with a daily SBC that gives out silver players, so like a electron players pack or mixed players pack or something that includes silvers within that pack, this will be better because basically what starts to happen is that people get these players in the packs and then they list them up if you're just sniping these at the middle of the night at three in the morning when there's no pack supply you're probably not going to see many cards and you're going to think this guy's chatting absolute one but please try this when there is pack supply so quality silver use all of these filters to snipe and i know that i don't really like sniping filters but these they're just too good to not include in this video. So the first one is going to be Silver Australian Defenders. Now again, with the introduction of these new league SBCs, a lot of these prices are mega high. Now you can see here, these are currently going for around 1000 coins on Xbox. So with this, I would come through and I would just sit here and snipe at say, I don't know, 700 coins at pack supply and I just try and sell them on ASAP. So I've got quite a few filters, so I'll rattle through these as quick as I can do. Next one is going to be Australian again, but it is going to be Australian midfielders. And you can see with this one, they are a similar price to the defenders, but some of them do pop up at a pretty decent price. It's already an undercut there at 800 coins, could potentially get a thousand coins out of that. Moving into the next one, it's going to be Australian forwards. Now the reason why I've gone defenders, midfielders, forwards is because you don't really want to be doing this with the goalkeepers because they don't really pop up as much and they're just not as good to do it with so there you go there's the first full filter australian defenders midfielders forwards next up is going to be south korea or korea republic i think as the known in fifa so let's just jump over here and have a look at them there they are korea and then we're going to do the exact same thing it's going to be the defenders it's going to be the midfielders and it's going to be the forwards as well you're not going for goalkeepers with this just because it's better to just do it this way in my opinion i think i prefer the outfield players and by all means you can win these on open bid as well you've just seen me bidding on these players as part of that other filter so you can win them an open bid as well and then finally for the asia set it is going to be saudi arabia now out of all of these filters that i'm showing you this one at the minute is currently the best because saudi arabian players on xbox at the minute are going for around six thousand to seven thousand coins and there's a hell of a lot of them as well there's a massive massive lack of higher rated players who would more often than not pop up into packs you know like gold rares and stuff like that it's just literally all silver so again you would come through and just sit here at 5.5k whatever it may be and just sit here and snipe as much as you can do wait till something pops up and there you go i've just managed to get one at a thousand coins and that was oh yeah i mean hmm interesting interesting i'm gonna list him up at eight thousand coins but there you go just straight off the bat i managed to get one and it's an amazing deal as well it, i don't know what to say i don't know what to say i don't really like sniping filters at the best of times but at the minute 
But these silver ones, pretty spicy. Moving into the Europe set though, we're gonna start off with the first one and it is gonna be Silver Croatian because they are currently going for a ton at the minute. It's typically the ones who are quite silver heavy in that team. So you're gonna go with the defenders, the midfielders and the forwards with this one because these are a similar story to the Korea Republic and the Australian ones. It's just better to do the outfield plays. There's more potential for deals and you can see here that they're all inflated. Go and try and do some sniping around that. Moving into the next one, it is gonna be one that you can use for the full name and it is going to be the Czech Republic who had a very very tasty win over Scotland might I add if you've seen the goal boys you know how shit it was. Lewandowski. All puns aside, it was it, it was just ridiculous. It was just ridiculous. But you can see here, these are slightly inflated and all of them are slightly inflated as well. So you can sit here, snipe it maybe a thousand coins if you're on Xbox or maybe whatever the price is when you're watching this, it should work. Next one is going to be another mega, mega expensive one and it is going to be Finland, who are, as far as I'm aware, I think they are the most expensive from the Europe set. These are a similar one to the Saudi Arabian ones. And again, with the outfield players, they they go for a hell of a lot more than the goalkeeper does. You can see here that they go for more than 2,000 coins. So if you want to, you can do individual positions like defenders, midfielders, forwards, or just use the general filter, which is what I've just done there. Finally, after that, for another full team, it is going to be hungry, and I will be hungry for some... I'm going to stop. Lewandowski. I'm just going to stop. Hungry, again, is is a mega, mega expensive one. There's a massive lack of supply on them, which is ridiculous. I don't know why I don't know why they've not done brick slots with these, but it doesn't matter because we can make coins off it. Either way, moving into the next one, it is gonna be Italy. Now with Italy, it's ever so slightly different. It's just the defenders and the midfielders that are worth doing from this one, because if you go for the forwards, they're a bit all over the price, the, all over the price? All over the place, the price, Jesus. Whereas the defenders and the midfielders, they're a tiny bit better. Pretty of a low budget filter this one, but you can get some good ones who go into different league SBCs as well. Moving into the next one, it's going to be a team who I admitted that I didn't even know were in the competition. It is going to be Northern Macedonia, who again are another mega, mega, mega spenny one because they've got a lack of gold players and stuff like that. As you can see, they're going for like 4,000 coins. You can snipe them as well. Moving into the next one, it is going to be Poland, but it's just going to be the Polish forwards because as you know, They've, they've got some players who you could go and pick up who are gold, but they've also got more expensive ones there, so you're probably just better off getting the strikers, so that's why the silver one is doing pretty well at the minute. Moving into the next one, it is going to be Russia, but for Russia, this one's just going to be for the defenders and the midfielders, so we'll go over here, go over to defenders, and you can see here, 1,000, 1,100 is what they're going for. Midfielders is the same as well, 1,200, really good to snipe. And then moving into the last two, the first one is going to be Slovakia, you can go and try out Slovakia as much as you can do. Good thing with this one is as well is that you can do pretty much the whole team. So there you go. All these filters here free for you to use. It is what it is. But don't forget the Discord got it first. Then make sure to click the link in the description. There's a nice little... Uh little discord spot for the boys finally though like i said it is going to be ukraine which is going to be the last filter that you can use from this and you can make some very nice coins out of all of this not as expensive as the other ones only coming in around 1.5k on xbox currently but let's those are all of the filters and this in my opinion is the best way to make coins right now regardless of sort of what budget that you're chilling at at the minute i think that you can go in on silvers at a low budget mid-range and even a high range budget because when we get mass supply snipe a load of them wait 24 hours or 12 hours or however long it may be and they'll go back up in price because people will always be grinding them but i think that's a good place to leave this video i'm going to try and get back into the swing of trading maybe on a fresh account or something after that 24 hour challenge but let's this 26 lewis if you've enjoyed this video please do drop a like on it subscribe if you're new comment down below and spamming Oosh. but this 26 lewis and i am off